add to the shadows. And I'll show you the finished product at the end. See you later. Okay, jumping ahead here. We have uh, time travel. That's uh, Will, we're pretty much done there. I've added the leaves to the trees. I've added some shading to Wilbur, and I wanted to show you I've taken another color, a darker, and I'm going to add a little bit of a darker shadow shading. Just a little bit to add a little more depth to Wilbur with a darker red or maroon. So I'm staying within the kind of the pinky area, the reddish area and adding a little bit more depth instead of just all pink just to give me better shadows I'm going to use I'm using the darker reddish maroon on top of the pink and see how it adds a little bit of depth to your picture My pencil broke there. Oops. Oh, you just blend it in. That's okay. And blend things in a bit. And there is, you know, this ear is going to cast a bit of a shadow, isn't it? On Wilbur's back. So you could play with that a little bit. We'll try and blend things in. There you go. Now just a tip about um, using different colors. It is easier to start with lighter. Let's say I want to add more leaves. Start with the lighter and then put the darker on top. Because if you try and put the light on top, if you do dark first and the light on top, it doesn't show very good, right? So, start with the lighter. Like that. And then add a little bit of the darker on top. <coughs> And there's Wilbur. Hope you have fun. I will post it on the uh, board at school for you all to see. It's been great doing directed drawing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we can do some more back in September. Have fun. Bye for now.